FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this 20th day, Tuesday, December, we're looking at just a few trading days left before we wrap up the year. We're looking at the Dow of 56 at 32,813. You see this 200 period exponential moving average right here? Really important in my work, and that makes this area. Uh, with the stochastic down at 13%, the MACD weak, the nine period under the 14 period moving average the on balance, trying to uh, make a little V-shaped pattern. This makes it very important. Is it going to be a bounce towards the 33,300s? And then you make your A to B equals C to D. I'm not talking about Chapman Wave. I'm talking about the um, way you can get a measured move to the downside. We're going to see or is this going to be a turnaround that really has uh, some action to the upside? The S&P, in fact, is finally it was down 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 now it's up 2.85 at 38.20 uh, it is uh, way below uh, the uh, 200 period moving average which is up at 4013 the qqq the ndx 100 is trading also very sharply low it's just a straight move down there's a leg a to the downside we'll see if it makes a trough a by tomorrow we're down we're unchanged right now 269.78 looking at the iwm the russell 2000 is trading at uh, up 56 at 172.60, trying to turn around here. Gold had a very strong move earlier on. It's extended that move. It's up 26 at 18.23. It used the 200-period uh, moving average as a springboard to the upside. It's in a trading band, but holding really well. Looking at the dollar, dollar's pulling back a little bit. Uh, it's down 50. It's more than a little bit down 52 ticks at 104.17. Crude oil. Crude oil is trading up uh, 83 cents at 76.21, just stuck in this range at the moment. And we're looking at the TLT, and that's bonds. And bonds have had a big move down, which means yields are going up. This should be worrying the market, but in fact, the market is starting to get used to this. And what happens very often, I'll talk about that in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter as well. Uh, we've raised quite a lot of cash. We're ready to put it to work. Most importantly, if you're looking at yields, it seems to me that the market is starting to accept a lot of things and that the news might be already written into the market. We'll talk about that when I return. Basil Chapman, Tiger Conditions Hour coming up. Hope you can stay. Great programming here at TFNN all day. Check it out. We start at night with Tommy Jr.